Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, August 12th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I want to deviate a little bit from the usual Patch Tuesday podcast by not starting with Microsoft's patches, but instead highlighting a vulnerability in the Bulletin. The Bulletin is a commercial bulletin board system written in PHP and it has a rather intricate template system, which has been the source of some critical vulnerabilities in the past. Last September, the Bulletin fixed CVE 2019. 16759, which was a code injection vulnerability. And apparently uh, this patch was not complete, which did allow for a bypass of the patch and details were published on Sunday by a researcher who calls himself a Sinofex. So yes, the bulletin is again vulnerable to a code injection attack. Attackers are able to execute arbitrary PHP code on the server. The exploit is trivial and an example, really more than just a proof of concept, has been released as part of this blog post. So I would expect exploitation to already be underway. The blog post also mentions a possible workaround that essentially means disable PHP static HTML and add module rendering. No idea what it'll break, but uh, certainly worth a try. So well, let's talk about Microsoft vulnerabilities. Next Microsoft patch 120 vulnerabilities for patch Tuesday. Two of these vulnerabilities have already been exploited. CVE 2020 1464. This is a Windows spoofing vulnerability. What it means is that signatures of files may incorrectly be validated and an attacker could use that to bypass some security features by, for example, loading inappropriately signed files. The second vulnerability is probably more severe. That's a remote code execution that's affecting Internet Explorer. It's part of the scripting engine that's vulnerable here. And that's CVE 2020-1380. The maximum CVSS score being patched this month is 8.8 and we have three vulnerabilities that reached this score. One uh, sounds interesting because it's fairly tricky to patch apparently. CVE 2020-1472 is a vulnerability in the net logon service and it's the elevation of privilege vulnerability. One patch is being released uh, today and there's a second patch that will uh, be necessary to fully patch this vulnerability, which will be released February 2021. The reason for this is that they have to essentially be sure that the first patch has been sort of globally applied before they can apply that second patch. And there is a support document with additional advice in how to deal with this particular vulnerability. And Adobe again joined the Patch Tuesday fun, this time with Adobe Acrobat and Reader patching 25 vulnerabilities. And secondly, with patches for Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom addresses one single important vulnerability that uh, consists of a privilege escalation. So uh, the Reader and Acrobat vulnerabilities are probably the ones that you should worry about first. And that's uh, where you should start your Adobe patches. But to keep life interesting, we don't just have critical patches from Adobe and Microsoft. Uh, Citrix is joining the fun and has critical patches for Zen Mobile Server. This is their endpoint management solution. So you use that to manage uh, desktops and the like. And two of the vulnerabilities being addressed here are critical and allowing for a complete takeover of the server. Given that these servers are then controlling your endpoints, well, uh, they essentially have keys to the kingdom at this point and something that you need to patch quickly. 
Now, if you do have an active maintenance contract with Citrix, you should have received a prior notification of these issues on July 23rd. And according to Citrix, 70% of customers already applied the update. And now for the remaining 30%, check your inbox. That email that you received from Citrix a couple of weeks ago was indeed critical and not just another sales pitch. And that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.